Yep, you saw the thumbnail. You looked at the title right. Today I'm showing off how I built Spring Bonnie from the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Costume Creations. You know the gist, this is the show where I show off my costumes and creations. I'm going to take you through start to finish on my project of the movie Spring Bonnie, and also my Halloween costume for this year. Let's jump in. Watching the trailers and teasers, Spring Bonnie was teased to be the main threat of the end of the movie. The moment we'd finally get to see Spring Bonnie after 9 years. From some leaked photos and shots from the first trailer, it seemed to me that the Spring Bonnie model was based off of the scrapped Help Wanted Spring Bonnie model. So I used that as my base. I took the model's head and took measurements of how it should look from different angles. I quickly got to work printing the patterns out and making all the measurements for the head. This would be the first time I'd measure something instead of just eyeballing it. This would also be the first head I'd make using EVA foam. I cut the EVA foam into a cylinder, and then put some project foam on top, cutting spaces for the ears. This would also be my first time using contact cement. It's great for using on EVA foam. However, the fumes are toxic, so please take proper precautions. Then I drew out the parts for the ears. I took a little break to go visit Freddy and his friends. I'll do a separate video on that. I also cut out the muzzle from craft foam and some parts that go in between the ears out of EVA foam just to make them stronger. Gluing with contact cement. Now we've got more of a rabbit. I cut out squares of project foam for the cheeks, then shaped it round and cut out the inner ears to cover them up with another color of fabric. I also decided to make the whole body of the suit out of project foam too. So I cut out the arms and glued them outside. I was only able to finish the upper body as you'll see later, but I think it still turned out pretty good. With the EVA and project foam, I made the jaw and the head was turning out awesome. What was even cooler is I got more references with every teaser and trailer. Unfortunately, I don't have a photo of me getting the fabric for the head, but I do have the per a photo of the purple fabric I ordered. I ordered this golden color off of Amazon and they're just big fleece blankets. I sketched out the body and got ready to cut it. This is my movie version of the Spring Bonnie or Spring Bonnie cosplay or whatever based off the movie and I'm gonna say cosplay. Even though I don't consider myself a cosplayer because I don't do costumes but this time I'm actually making a really good costume. I've got the stomach, I've got the torso, I've got the arms here. I still gotta build the legs, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Um, fabric and stuff is in there. Um, and then the ears and shoulders are inside of the head right now. And then this is the jaw. But, uh, yeah. So this is gonna be my first, like, full cosplay instead of, like, just like, the heads. Because I usually specialize in making the robot heads. So this will be a full, cool costume. I spent an entire day, like 10 hours straight, covering the head, trying to hide the seams and make look, everything look awesome before I inevitably destroy it all. I pricked myself with so many sewing needles, it's not even funny. Here's how it looks so far, all fabricated. Then I finished the bow tie and the coverings for the arms. I spent another whole day covering the body and arms. No photos of the process because it literally took all day. Then I put in spacers for the ears and used hot glue and wire to hold the ears together. Then I used EVA foam to cut squares for the teeth. Now Spring Bonnie was done, all nice and clean. But wait, movie Spring Bonnie is all torn and broken. Speaking of the movie, me and Spring Bonnie and some friends of mine wearing other masks went to go see the movie and the movie was awesome i absolutely loved it and the intro instrumental is what i'm using for the backing track of this whole video because it's just so awesome 
I'll do another video on the movie later, but back to Spring Bonnie. Then, like a gift sent from above, Daco, Ryan, and other YouTubers that visited the FNAF movie set started posting their second vlogs, and the Spring Bonnie and his suits were shown off. Perfect for me. I used the videos as reference to cut all the holes, and then used black spray paint to paint in the holes. I scooped out a foam sphere for the eyes, and created all the markings in the head, also using a lighter to gently burn some of the fur edges. I used the legs of my old Spring Bonnie costume and tore up one of the sides, and then put it all together. Spring Bonnie was done. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like it and comment down below what you're going as for Halloween, or what you went as for Halloween. I'm writing this script at 12 a.m. on Halloween, so I better get some sleep after recording. Campus Halloween as Spring Bonnie. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe, or I'll tell your mom.